Thank you for joining us at XM.com for the Daily Market Common for Tuesday, March 21st by Mario Sajikiriakos. I'm Cristina Marujos. It's been a wild month for global markets, with regulators turning into firefighters to extinguish the stress in the banking system and prevent it from burning the real economy. The Fed rolled out an emergency lending program for troubled banks. The Treasury is considering unlimited federal guarantees for depositors, while Swiss authorities orchestrated the absorption of Credit Suisse by UBS. These forceful policy responses help restore order in financial markets, at least for now, alongside a resurgence of bets that the Fed will slash interest rates by the summer or fall. Investors are essentially betting that if there is a Fed rate increase this week, it will be the final one of the cycle, and rate cuts will begin soon thereafter. The problem is that the economic data pulse remains strong, putting the Fed in a dilemma on whether it should forge ahead with raising rates or hit pause. Recent speculation for interest rate cuts has hammered U.S. yields lower, and since yields are essentially the price of money, several risky assets from tech stocks to cryptocurrencies have enjoyed a sensational rally. The rate-sensitive Nasdaq has risen more than 6% from last week's lows, with tech juggernauts such as Google and NVIDIA spearheading the charge. Speculation for rate cuts overrides everything for a while until investors realize that lower rates are a reflection of a troubled economy and what that implies for earnings. The prospect of cheap money returning soon propelled gold prices higher too, briefly sending the precious metal above the $2,000 an ounce region yesterday. That said, the gains have started to evaporate on Tuesday with U.S. yields staging a recovery. What the Fed does tomorrow will decide whether this rally has legs. The U.S. dollar has been under pressure lately, unable to gain on safe haven flows. Market pricing currently points towards a Fed rate increase tomorrow, but there are still doubts. The most prudent move would be for the Fed to mimic what the European Central Bank did last week, raise rates to fight inflation, and highlight that if there is more banking stress, the Central Bank has different tools to deal with that. Moreover, the new interest rate projections will be crucial as there is a massive gap between the last Fed projections and market pricing. If FOMC officials push back against rate cut bets by keeping their projections for this year elevated near 5%, the dollar could come back to life. Thank you for watching the Daily Market Comment here at XM.com.